Good morning, Pre-K. We're so glad you're here this morning. This morning, Miss Frida and I are going to start off our lesson with our morning's welcome song. Welcome to our class. Welcome, we're glad you're here. Welcome to our class. Welcome, we're glad you're here. Hello, hello, hello to you and me. Hello, 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 join in our family. This is a smile for you, a smile for you and me. Here's a smile for you, join in our family. Welcome to our class, welcome, we're glad you're here. Welcome to our class, welcome, we're glad you're here. So we are so glad you're here. Today we are going to talk about a new word of the week. Adventure. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020, and we want to talk about adventure. I really love to go on adventures. One way that we go on adventures is sometimes we travel. Now, there are lots of different ways to travel. You might think of an airplane. But today we're going to talk about different ways that animals can travel from here to there. Let's say our morning message. Read with me and we're going to count the words. We can travel from here to there. Let's count those words again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven words. We have how many words? Two more than five is? That's right, it's seven. So we have seven words in our morning message. We can travel from here to there. Our letter of the week is A. And this blunt will be covering some other letters this week as well. So A is for Apple Annie, and Apple Annie wanted me to read this book to you. Here it is. Can you move with me? Can you move with me? There's the title of the story. Looks like some things are moving on the front cover. What do you see that's moving? Yes, I see a girl. I see, I see some some creatures, some bugs moving. Can you move with me? Can you move with me? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you wiggle? Let's wiggle. Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? They use something else to move. What is it called? That's right, wings. I wish I had wings. Do you wish you had wings? That would be awesome. Imagine traveling with your own wings. Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? I can crawl. Can you crawl? That's one other way to travel. Can you fly? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? I like to hop. Can you name one thing that can hop? You're right. It is Miss Frida. Miss Frida can hop. Let's hop. Can you name something else that can hop? Oh, really? Good idea. Can you name something else that can hop or jump? Can you slither like a snake? 
Can you give a little shake? I can shake. I can't slither very well like a snake. Can you? Can you dance like a bee? Who is buzzing round a tree? Can you move with me? I like to dance. I don't know if I can do it very well, but it's still fun. We can always try. Let's see you wiggle like a worm, crawl like a beetle, hop like a bunny, slither like a snake, and dance like a bee. There's a picture of the author who wrote the story. Oh my, you know what I was thinking? It kind of reminded me of a song. Did this remind you of a song? Kind of like this one. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a peat beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee who is buzzing round a tree? Can you move with me? So I was thinking of last week's lessons. We talked about some things that could move and what makes them mobile. The word of the week last week was mobile. We had some items in some of our stories that had wheels on them that caused them to be mobile in just a slightly different way. Here's a wagon. What makes it mobile? Yes, it's wheels. We also talked about compound words. We have a compound word here and it ties in with our story today. What's this word? Butterfly. There's butter and there's fly. We put them together and get butterfly. So we have butterfly, put them together and get butterfly. Something else that moved in our story was like an ant. What does an ant use to move? Yes, it uses its legs like you and I use our legs to travel to get places. Now, your assignment right now is to use a way to travel. And you are going to travel downstairs and tell your parents one, two, three ways that you can move like a bug. So on the count of three, you're going to travel downstairs or across the hall or into the kitchen and tell someone in your family how you can travel or move like one of these creatures in our story today. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Good job, guys. Have a great day.